They've taken you away I'll never kiss your lips again They buried you today Teen angel Yes, the incomparable Mark Denning yet once again with the Teen Angel. Although I'll tell you what, I've decided that I really don't want to do, to do the head-on thing. You know, you want to know why? Because I promised somebody else I'd give them my car. Okay, so I really can't do that because because um, my because because I promised somebody else I'd give them my car, and if I'm going to do a head-on, then that's not going to do very well if I'm going to give them the car. It's like, what, it's, you know, it's all going to be smashed in. It's not going to be worth that much anymore, so. Might as well leave it in running condition. I yeah, think. yeah, so, okay, so I won't do the car thing. I'll just clean mine off, so right. I can't do that. Okay, um, but actually I've got another idea, and this one is based, at least in part, on science, you see. Um, Basically, what the thing is, okay, you realize that all around me, I've got this radio station here, and there's a ton of ways in this station that I could go about and kill myself. I mean, we got power tools, we got all sorts of poisons, we got, um, you know, we got sharp objects, and we got electricity, yes. Yes, we have electricity running all around this place, all sorts of voltages and currents and all sorts of things. In fact, do you know that... Um, well, let's see. The fact that the frequency at which the alternating current in your house runs, mind you, that's 60 cycles per second. Okay, that was chosen because that's the best frequency with which to have an electric chair work. I'm serious. When, 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 when the, well, the idea was, I mean, the way the electric chair got invented, it was actually Tom Edison who invented the electric chair. Yes, the same Thomas Edison who brought you such wonderful things as the phonograph and uh, the motion picture projector, I think, maybe, or no. Um, but what, what, what I'm, the phonograph, the light bulb, I mean, what else did he, I mean, he invented all sorts of things, but one of the big things he invented was, yes, the electric chair. Did you realize that? But, and, and the thing was, okay, Edison wasn't, didn't really like the idea of AC, okay, which is what everybody uses nowadays for, for you know, for electricity to your house. He liked DC is the idea, and he wanted to, he wanted he wanted DC to become the thing. But there was this other guy named uh, George Westinghouse who was into AC. Okay, now the thing was Edison wanted to prove that he wa he wanted to get in the set in the public's mind that AC was dangerous, that it was deadly, that if you ran AC to everybody's house, that it would be a source of you know being you know of danger. So so basically, what he did was. He was asked to build an electric chair, and he built it using AC. Okay, 60 hertz. He figured, I mean, they scientifically calculated that frequency out because it's the best frequency at which to, to get, um, well, basically at which to kill people. 60 hertz is the best frequency. But for some reason, that stuck. And then, it's, and then for some reason, AC ended up winning out anyways in the battle of um, AC versus DC as far as to, you know, what normal house current would be. So... So basically what ended up happening was, at least in this country, 60 hertz is the standard, but 60 hertz is also the most dangerous frequency. And just to give you some idea about what 60 hertz can do, okay, I've got this little tone generator here. Okay, and let's see if I get it turned on. How'd that happen? Okay, well, for some reason I lost a few hertz, but let's see if I can get it back up to where it should be. Okay. 758, ah, there we go, 60, 60 hertz, and let's see, if I punch it up, can you hear it, that's the sound of 60 hertz, the perfect frequency at which to cause death, and so therefore, 
what you could do, I imagine, is you could turn up your amplifier on your stereo system really, really loud and disconnect the speaker leads from the back of your speaker and just hang on to them and see what happens. Make it a little bit stronger for you now. It doesn't seem to be working too well, does it? It's not doing a lot, no. No, 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 no. Maybe I should turn the amplifier up a little bit louder. Oh, no, that's no good. We're hitting a harmonic there. There we go. Perfect. you know there's probably not enough current or voltage or whatever in your amplifier to really cause any damage anyways if it, you know even if it is the right frequency you know I don't know this doesn't seem to be working too well just kind of tickles the ears a bit yeah that's all really well well the, th the idea was basically to unplug the, the wires from the speaker and to hang on to them but I don't eh, even then I don't think it would have worked oh well so much for that idea um, let's see, what else could we do? Let's see, we had the, you know, the electricity doesn't seem to be a good idea. Or at least not, or at least not with the powers we have around here. I mean, the thing is, the transmitter is several blocks away. I mean, th now there's some real voltages in, the, in that thing. I mean, I mean, you just kind of go in there and grab, grab a hold of, you know, some part or other, and that, that would probably do it. In fact, well, well wait a minute, it's like, if I'm going to go into that much trouble to go out there... Why don't I just go up to the top floor? To the top floor of the, the, of the, of the building with the transmitter. After all, it's a 30-story building. And if the transmitter thing doesn't work, well, you know, you can yeah, just jump. Yeah, that's it. That's what I'll do. Oh, but then again, it, that's, that could be painful, and I don't like pain. It's kind of messy, too. Yeah, it is messy. Oh, well, I'll think about it a little bit more. In the meantime, you can hear this other great song from this band named Obituary. In fact, it's such a wonderfully titled song that I'm sure you're all going to love it. It's called Body Bag. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> 
with a body bag. And I just realized something, you know, there's there's one thing I haven't thought of yet that I haven't tried yet, or at least haven't thought of yet. I mean, I, obviously I haven't tried anything, or otherwise I wouldn't be here talking to you, would I? But, a while back, not all that long ago, there was um, some big brouhaha about um, the, these two teenage boys who heard this one who supposedly heard this one Judas Priest song that made them want to kill themselves, and so they went and did it, and then, and then the band supposedly got sued or something. Does anybody remember which song that was? I mean, I can't remember for, for the life of me. I cannot remember what the name of the, that particular song was that they were complaining had the backwards messages that were convincing them to kill themselves. I mean, n- never mind the fact that they were so zoned out on whatever other stuff that they were taking, that, that basically it's like, you know, sort of like, you know, mind is an open wound, but, um, what, I mean, what was the name of the song? If anybody knows, and they could call me at two five three eighty eight ten and tell me, maybe this person knows. Hello, WMBR. Wait, it, what, what was it? Better by you, better than me. Oh, okay, wait, wait, the Stain Cross album? Okay, well, we gotta find that. Can we go look for that? Better by you, better by me. It's on the Stained Cross album, Jesus Priest. It they all got a funky picture on the front. Oh, where? In the ses- Oh, in the s- 
Well, well, it's like yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to see. It's like if we can find any of this music. And basically, the thing yeah, the thing is, it's like we really need we really need the right music to do this by. And so and so we're we're, we're trying to get this just right. So they so they're gonna go find that 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 song. In fact, yeah, um, they're they're looking for right now. What? Some disco. Oh, that, I mean, disco's not for death. Di well, disco is death, but that's another story. But, um, no, we have it right here. We have it right here. Okay, um, okay, well, well first we'll play it forwards. I mean, well, we'll see. Okay, bye. Anyways, um, so we got it here. We got to queue it up. Um, it's going to be hard to queue up with. Oh, you got it? Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Okay, Let's see, it's Judas Priest, and the song is called Better By You, Better Than Me. Right here on the Pit of Despair, WMBR. <laughs> Okay, that was it forwards, and I don't know, I don't really feel anything special, you know, I, I, it, it, it just didn't do it for me, you know? Sounds just like a typical Judas Priest song. Yeah, that's the thing, it's like, so it's, I mean, there was nothing really special about it, but maybe, let's see what happens if we do this. It's hard to keep a constant speed, you know?
Did that do anything for you backwards? It didn't do anything for me. Didn't no. do much for me either. Yeah. Oh, well. Must have been what they were taking at the time. Oh, yeah, well. Yeah. <laughs> of course, that's another way. I mean, we could take mass quantities of something. Right. But we don't have any. Extraction okay. solution. Yeah, that's it. We got it. that. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Get the, get, what, what, what's yeah. that bottle? Yeah. Extraction solution. That's what it is. Let's see. Contains ethylene glycol monobutyl ether and sodium metasilicate. Yeah, two mm. two of my favorite flavorings. Yeah, I'll like extract the life right out of you. Yeah, right. Extraction solution is not what they call it. Um, I oh man, this stuff smells real yeah. bad. Oh man, I, I don't think I could drink it. I don't know. Now nah. it'd probably burn all you the way down. Yeah, you'd throw yeah. up and then it wouldn't do it. Yeah, that's the problem. Yeah, but the, you the, couldn't I, keep I, it down long enough for. Yeah, to although I think they say do not induce vomiting. So maybe you if you did induce vomiting. No, it just no. injure you. Yeah. It would oh. tear up your throat. It wouldn't kill you. Yeah, that's no good. Anyways, let's see. It's 11 o'clock. That means, uh, well, we do have to say from MIT, this is WMBR Cambridge. We're first on your FM dial and last episode of The Pit of Despair. I'm in certain name here, and I don't know who's behind me. <laughs> me. Me. And me. And Okay, well, so we have me, me, me one two. and me two. <laughs> right, me one and me two. Me two and me one. They can do anything, anything, anything out of this. I'm never mind. Anyways, um... I can do it better. Oh, you can. Thank you. But anything you can do, I can do better. Oh, boy. Are we going to have a war here? What? Anyways, um... Yeah, war is kind of a gross war! way to kill you. War! 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 Wow, this... War! 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 War, war! That's a great war. way to kill yourself! War. Get in a war. war! Let's have a war! war. Yeah, war. war! War! I mean, there's one that's just about to happen right around the corner. Well, not quite right around the corner. Well, it's as close as your local army recruitment office. Yeah! yeah. That's it. Let's all sign up and let's volunteer to join the army and let's get sent to the Arabian Desert. Where... Well, I don't know what's I happening. I think it would take a little long to get there, though. The heat would kill us if we didn't yeah, get Yeah, that's it, that's it. If the war doesn't get us, the heat will, so... Just don't drink your six gallons a day. Right. Six gallons of what? Water. Oh. Oh, well, that won't kill you. No, but not drinking not it drink will. Oh, not drinking Then you no. dehydrate. No, yeah, okay. But that could be painful, I don't know. But, uh, let's see. What have we got here? slow, probably, too. Something about the after effects of dying. Oh, okay. Well, actually, I'm going to have to queue up something else real fast after that. Yeah. So, um, well, let's see. we got a couple things here. But I like the idea of volunteering for war. That, that's, that's a great idea. Let's see. Um, okay, we'll get that one. Uh, let's see. I also had the one that I wanted to do. Let's see if I can find it here. Right here. Right here. Let's see. Uh, okay, no, that's the wrong side. Uh, yeah, that's it. Well, wait, is it on? Oh, I didn't want it to be on, but, uh... Oh, well. well it's okay. all going to be over soon anyway, so... Right, it doesn't What does really one matter. mistake matter? Okay, so anyways, let's, let's get going here. Let's... Let's have a war! Why don't we... Ah, <sighs> uh, ah. Uh, it's just, just like, like Moo and Bean, you know? Yeah. Stop 
drinking beer when you die. You'll stop being here when you die. Some people cry. When you die, we say goodbye. Stop, I forgot I promised to tell you more about Peter Pan, and it's uh, a little premature notice, but uh, I said I was going to do it, so I will. December 11th through January 20th at the Lunt Fontaine Theater in New York City, the 35th anniversary production of Peter Pan, and there, so there is indeed a revival of it, and Disney is releasing the 1950s Peter Pan. In any case, that is second stage, and this is The Pit of Despair. <laughs> Visions of the things to be, the things that are withheld for me. I realize and I can see that suicide is painless. It brings on many changes, and I can take or leave it if I please. The game of life is hard to play Gonna lose it anyway The losing card of Sunday lay So this is all I have to say Yes, a hopelessly scratched up copy of 
Suicide is Painless, a very appropriate note to begin this last edition of The Pit of Despair. Good evening, my name is, insert name here, and basically the reason I'm going on tonight is to tell you that tonight, yes, tonight, sometime before midnight, I will be killing myself on the air. Yes, that's correct. I will be committing suicide before millions of you. Uh, before I do so, I should probably state, uh, let's see, well, a couple things beforehand. One, the views and opinions expressed on this show are not necessarily those of any real live human being. They're certainly not the views and opinions of WMBR, staff or management, the Technology Broadcasting Corporation, or the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. And the other thing I should note is that if you are a sort of person who cannot quite distinguish between reality and whatever else is out there, if you're a person who's open, whose mind is too open to suggestive type of uh, actions. Basically, if you're going to do anything that some fool on the radio is going to tell you to do, then I don't want you listening to this show. Turn away, tune to somewhere else, okay? Because I don't want to get sued, and I don't want the station getting sued for because somebody t told you to do something, you end it, and then somebody else is going to now sue me or sue the station. Just tune away, okay? Don't bother, okay? Because I don't need that kind of trouble. The station doesn't need that kind of trouble. And I just don't want to deal with it. Okay. And having been said, yes, I am going to kill myself on the air tonight. And the only problem is I can't quite figure out how I'm going to do it yet. I don't know. I need some inspiration is what I need. And, okay, I, I want it understood. It's not that I'm upset or anything or really depressed that the show is going away or anything like that. No, not at all. I could care less about the show. It's just plainly, simply, that it's just as good a time as any. I mean, there's, you know, there's nothing else really going on in my life, so, you know, it's, it's, really, a, it's really the ideal time to do it, you know? And, I don't know, let's get in the mood of this thing, you know, okay? I mean, there's all sorts of wonderful death music that's around, and, um, well, here's something by a band named Obituary, okay? And this song is called Infected, okay? Just to give you, this is just to set the proper mood for tonight's show, okay? So, just take a listen and know that with it, sometime within the next two hours, this will all be history. <laughs>
filled him full of lead. As he died, I made a promise. I would shoot that gun he did. I would shoot that gun he did. My mother cried and held me. Please don't do it, son. You're too young, you're just too young. Wear your brother's gun to wear your brother's gun. I'm too young, I'm too young, I'm too young, too young to die. As I saddled up my pony, I could hear my mother cry. My brother's guns were heavy, my throat was tight and dry, my throat was tight and dry. I trailed him to Laredo, there I found a gun. Folks in town all knew me, they knew just why I'd come, they knew just why I'd come. I'm too young, I'm too young. Another gun had stopped him and left him lying dead, left him there, lying dead. They said that I was guilty, I had no alibi. They tied my hands behind me and said that I must die. They said that I must die. I'm too young, I'm too young, I'm too young, too young to die. In the saddle, they led me to a tree. My little pony didn't know he'd be the death of me. That he'd be the death of me. A wave of fear went through me as a bullet tore the sky. The horse beneath me bolted. My time had come to die. My time had come to die. I'm too young. I'm too young. that just that fun deaf song right there oh that was so much fun that was mark dinning with i'm too young to die mark dinning there who made his career on such songs about death and you know it's like and such cheerful songs about death too you know not like the you know depressing you know bombastic type oh death uh, no he was cheerful about it i mean he he was into death you know i mean i think that's just so great and I don't know, I'm thinking about the approach he suggests in that song, you know, basically go out and kill somebody else, and make sure you get caught, of course, because otherwise then, you know, um, you know, just make sure you get caught, like, you know, it's like, if, if you're gonna do, you know, the obvious thing to do, obviously, if you want to get caught, is you take the body, and you do something like you bury it in your own basement, you know, that's, that's the obvious thing to do, because it's like, you know, it's like, you know, eventually they're gonna come and suspect you, and it's like, and you'll say, Oh, no, I, 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 I've never seen her, and it's like, they'll ask, they'll say, oh, but we saw you with the victim, you know, just a few hours before supposedly it happened. Well, just a few hours before she was missing. Well, you know, you see, I don't, you know, it's like, she left, and then I don't know where she went to. Uh, can we look down in your basement? No, 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 not there, not there, no, 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 please, no, no, there's nothing down there that you guys want to see anyways. Uh, we want to look down in your basement. No, 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 you, you, you really don't have to. Okay, so, so, um, the obvious thing to do is if you want to get caught, you, you put them down in the basement. I mean, it's, it's, it's perfect, isn't it? Yeah, I Okay, so. yeah, so I got, you the, need to find. yeah, the problem is I got to find somebody to, get to kill. Hmm. Um, yeah. Well, since this is kind of a suicide night, maybe it should be me. No. Okay, um... Oh, but, yeah, I don't know. thing is, I... I, I, I pain, though. Yeah, that's, that's the problem, you see. You see, there's... I mean, practically every method of death that I know of involves at least some pain or at least some possibility of pain. And, I'm, you know, it's like, that's okay, but I really... I'm, I'm really not into pain, okay? I'm just sorry to say that, but I am not into pain. Um, oh, I know what I could do. Well, let's see, here's another thing I could do. I've got a car, right? Yeah, I've got a car out there. I could take my car, 
and I could just kind of, you know, drive it, you know, it's like all of a sudden, you know, put my, put the pedal to the floor, and just, you know, kind of go speeding down the highway, and then just kind of, oh, just accidentally kind of, you know, quickly jerk the wheel or something one way or another, and, and, and you know, and you'll run into a telephone pole or something. Isn't that great? You know what we could do, which might be a little more uh, effective, because if you miss the telephone pole by a foot or two, you could end up just chopping a couple of arms off or something. Yeah, that's... We could, like, mm -hmm. both take our cars. Yeah. And head straight for each other. Yeah! And double suicide. Yes! 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 I love it! <laughs> that's it! A head on! Why didn't I think of it? Boy, you're brilliant, you know? I mean, you're the one who should really be... Um, and, I don't know, it's like, let's get ourselves in the mood for, you know, just taking our cars out and wrecking. Let's, let's hear some songs about driving and dying and, you know, that sort of thing. That sounds good. Like, like this one here, it's like by this really lame 70s group called Wednesday, and it, it, it's actually a cover of a song, they call it Last Kiss. It's what it's I about. remember that. Yeah. I don't know, just kind of cruel along to it, you know, just kind of sing along.
dock, I started to swerve. And then I saw the jack slide into the curve. I know I'll never forget that horrible sight. But I guess I found out for myself that everyone was right. Oh, <laughs> no.